We were always excited to find the rank of a matrix till our lower school standards. Now, to find the rank of a matrix, all we have to do is find the determinant. Say, consider the matrix 2, 2, 3, 4. For example, think you have a 3x3 three three matrix, and you have a 4x4 four four matrix, and you have a 5x5 five five matrix. You can't go on evaluating the determinants. You cannot go on evaluating the determinants. It's going to take a long, long way. So, for that, there is an easier method to find the rank of a matrix. Usually, to find the rank of a 3x3 three three matrix, you find the determinant of the 3x3 three three matrix, and then, if it is a zero, then we go for a submatrix. Say consider the matrix A B C D E F G H I. If the determinant of this matrix is zero, then we go for a submatrix. If this determinant is not zero, then the rank of the matrix is two. If this procedure is gonna take a long way when the matrix order goes higher. So, we go for an easier method to find the rank of a matrix. Consider a matrix. Um, give me an example for a matrix. Okay, give me a question paper. Good. Tell me that. This is a matrix A and it's a 3x3 three three matrix. How do we find the rank of a 3x3 three three matrix? If you find the one way to find is find the depth of A. If depth A is 0, Then find the determinant of that submatrix. Now that we have come to high standards, we no longer go for the determinant procedure and we go for the row operation procedure. The simple way to do this is we reduce the number of rows as much as possible. We reduce, we perform row operations these are called row operations and there are certain rules to perform row operations which you can see in my other video this video is solely for finding out the rank of a matrix to find out to perform row operations you can go through that video now performing row operations consider this if you add this is row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3. Now, replace row 3 with R3 plus R1. Then the result will be equivalent. So now, this matrix is similar, this uh, the properties of the determinant, the properties will not change. So now there are two, there is a, there are two non-zero rows and there is a zero row. Now is there any row operation which can make one row of these two rows zero? Is there any operation? Is there any row operation? Consider this. If you are uh, 
say if you are replacing row 2 with uh, uh, row 2 minus 2 times row 1 row 2 is replaced with row 2 minus 2 r1 then the first element will be 0 third element will be 0 the first element hey hey wait wait yes yeah fine the third element will be 0 but it won't be totally 0 row so it's no use performing the row operation because the total row is not going to become 0 even if you perform a row operation you can just check it out it won't be a total 0 you will get a matrix something like uh, you will be left over with one element let's say plus 2 then that will be similar to 3 minus 1 2 0 0 8 0 0 0 how many non-zero rows are there in the final matrix there are two non-zero rows so rank is equal to number of non-zero rows after row operations rank is the number of non-zero rows after the row operations in this way we can find the rank in an easier way than going by the determinant procedure we can verify this you can find the debt of this whole matrix it will be zero then you take any sub matrix say you can consider this 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 or this it's up to you all the best all the best